The Treasure Valley's original all sports station. Sports Radio 95.3 FM and 1350 AM. The Ticket. Prater in the ball game. Bob Beeler sitting in for Mike Prater today. This is Idaho Sports Talk. Appreciate you guys tuning in. However, you may be accessing this program. Let's hit up our fat guys, Fresh Deli Hotline. And I'll tell you this, Bob, you called every one of this Boise State basketball player's career. He was first team all league. He's first all time in free throw percentage in Boise State basketball history and only nine players. This guy ranks 10th all time in scoring in Boise State basketball history. He's Derek Alston Jr. He's with us right now. DA, it's been a while, man. Welcome back to the airwaves here in Boise. Hope things are well, my man. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's all good. Good to good to be back on the airwaves. It's been a while for sure. Heck yeah, man. So last year you had a I'd say a very successful season in the G League playing for the Salt Lake City team. Your numbers, your statistics were terrific. Now you get a shot with the Dallas Mavericks and their summer league team. How'd this come about where you go from, you know, last year with essentially Golden State, then Utah, now Dallas. How did this come about and what excites you about being a member of the Mavericks summer league team, DA? Yeah, um, I would definitely say um, going from, you know, the Warriors to, the, to Utah and now, you know, onto Dallas or summer league definitely been um, a little different, but it's been, it's been really good. I was thankful for, the opportunity I was given by all three teams and I'm excited. You know, I recently um, went to a mini camp workout with the Mavericks and that's how this kind of opportunity came about when kind of weighing options for summer league and kind of seeing uh, where I'd get the best role at the biggest role and the biggest opportunity to showcase my game um, in front of all these executives and, and people in the NBA. So um, that's how the, the Dallas opportunity came about. And I'm, I'm super excited to get down to Dallas for, for camp and then on to Vegas to show what I can do. Derek, what did you learn about playing in the summer league last year as as a first year pro? Now that you think it's going to help you in the second year in the in the summer league? Yeah, I think definitely just the speed, the speed of it, and this and this. I think how you know how the pro game is. I think definitely making that transition from college um, to that definitely was was a little different. But I'm thankful um, I was able to have a really good role during my first year with the Warriors. So I'm excited to kind of build upon that. Um, you know, after having a, you know, successful first pro season and now we're only kind of rolling into my second one. So I'm excited. So you mentioned going to Dallas, will you have like a mini camp down there so you can kind of familiarize yourself with the other players on the team? What, what's the prep and getting ready for this? Yeah. So there's a mini camp, uh, before it'll probably be, um, for myself leaving on Monday, heading back down to Dallas, uh, for a couple of days. And then I think our first game is July 8th. So having like a little kind of mini, mini training camp, mini camp type of vibe to, you know, familiarize ourselves with the, you know, with the team, with the coaches of the summer league team and uh, kind of what system they want us to run down there. Former first team all mountain West, Derek Alston jr. With us here on Idaho sports talk with the Dallas Mavericks summer league team and DA. Um, what was the grind like of your first year? playing in the G League in that I mean I saw regular season you were averaging 18 points six rebounds and almost three assists a game I mean you were shooting the ball fairly well as well DA like dude you had a good run but what's the grind like being a G Leaguer yeah it's different I mean it, it doesn't have all the glitz of glamour of being in the NBA but it's a very good league um you know you're playing against a lot of really good competition and talent um so for myself, I think transitioning from college into pro, just just you know realizing and learning that this you know is my job now, and really taking it seriously in terms of you know every day being able to just you know do what I needed to do to be successful at my job, and I think that once I kind of found the rhythm of it and kind of got a hang of it, I was able to kind of take off. So um, I was excited, you know, just to kind of see my progression from the start of that year uh, to the end. So and I'm now just excited going into year two now with a lot more confidence. Um, yeah. and myself and my game and, and, you know, the work I put in the summer to kind of get ready, uh, heading into year two. You're listening to Idaho sports talk, Bob Beeler filling in for Mike Prater alongside Johnny Mallory. We're visiting with Derek Alston, one of the four Broncos that's heading to Las Vegas to be in the summer league. He'll be playing for the Dallas Mavericks team. Uh, Derek, when you look back at the season this year with the uh, stars down in Salt Lake city in the G league, where do you think you improved your game the most in your first year in the pros? Um, I think just adjusting to the speed was the, was the biggest thing for me. 
and adjusting to the pro game. It's just it's a, it's a lot different uh, than college. You know, it's a shorter clock. Even though there's more time on the game clock, it's a shorter clock, so there's definitely more possession. It's kind of really just adjusting to the game. I think is, is the biggest thing. Um, knowing just what looks, you know, what looks are good looks, what looks are bad looks. Um, defensively, where to be in my spots and and getting used to kind of the defensive three second rule. Just just little things like that. Um, because at the end of the day, it's still basketball. But I think once I kind of got adjusted to kind of the rules and just like got used to being a pro, then I think everything kind of took off for me a little bit. So um, it, it was definitely fun. It was kind of a new experience for me, um, you know, kind of, you know, playing one way for so long and then kind of getting thrown into a new system after a while, mm-hmm. um, being able to learn the nuances of not only the jazz system, but just the pro game in general. So um, it, it was exciting. Uh, DA, Leon Rice was on the show and, and he was saying that, you know, he thinks the best of Derek Alston Jr. is ahead of him with the way you came here and had to develop so much physically and learn the game kind of on the spot like that. He thinks, you know, you're still going to grow. You're still going to get stronger. And he was saying, you know, D.A. Is, is a future NBA player. I, 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 are you with him on that for Leon? Was he right in that assessment that when you left Boise State, there was still a lot of, let's say, meat on the bone if you will, as far as your growth from a physical standpoint. Where are you now compared to the last time we got to see you over there at Extra Mile Arena? Yeah, I think physically is where I've taken the biggest jump. Um, You know, um, the game is a lot more physical, so it definitely forces you um, to have to spend more time in the weight room. And I think for myself, you know, physically I look a lot different than I did at Boise State. You know, weight wise, I'm I'm up, and I think that even just from the end of my season here in the G League, I'm you know my body has changed um, quite a bit. So I'm definitely just excited. Yeah. Um, you know, as for my body, as when my body continues to kind of catch up with my skill and things like that, that I'll just be able to continue to unlock more and more of my game. Um, so and being able just to do more things and be more confident out there and be more physical um, when dealing with you know you know these stronger guys and things like that. So um, I think definitely for myself and you know now it's my job and not really having to worry about you know school and things like that like that that makes it you know a hundred percent of my effort and 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 mentally it's it's put into myself put into my game um and like I said it's my job now so I think definitely having it be kind of my lifestyle now it just kind of forces you to evolve quicker versus you know kind of in a college setting for sure Derek what do you want to show the Mavericks you know, you're going to be down there counting the, the mini camp probably two, three weeks with them this summer. You know, what what would you want them to take away from seeing you in that time? Um, For myself, just, you know, I think at, at this point in my career, I think a lot of these teams know who I am and know how I play. Um, So for me, just, you know, coming in with a good attitude, showing, no, you know, and just continue to build on my reputation. It's just kind of just a low maintenance guy who's, who's very talented as well, but being able to fit in, fit in with their system and just, uh, show show that I can that I can play at this level. You know, I think that I you know I had a lot of really good stretches during my first year in the G League and kind of got derailed you know late in the year with an injury. So uh, just kind of showing you know those teams that I'm back. I felt like I did that with the mini camp that I went to kind of in the weeks prior. But um, just you know I'm excited to go down there with summer league with them. Uh, you know, show them who I can be and kind of just like I said, kind of find 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 my next spot for sure. Derek Alston Jr., the 10th all-time leading scorer in the history of Boise State basketball with us right now on Prater and the Ball Game. Fat Guys Fresh Deli Hotline. What do you miss most about Boise, DA? You were here for like four or five years. You're a pillar of this community. Any type of restaurant, food, or whatever. What are you missing most about Boise, dude? Man, I can't I can't even pinpoint one thing. Um, you know, for myself, just, just being there for five years and, um, just the growth that I had from when I first stepped on campus to when I left, um, I, I think is is his story, his story is movie like, you know, and I couldn't have asked for a better community, uh, that has supported me. I couldn't ask for a better program and coaches that had supported me, um, and teammates as well, too. Um, and being able to kind of just build so many relationships I did there, I think that would be the biggest thing that I miss is definitely not being able to be there every day with those relationships, but um, still keeping in contact with, you know, my friends that I have out there with, with the coaches, with teammates and things like that, um, that are there now. And, 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 you know, during my prior year. So um, it, it is a lot, man. I miss, I miss the mountains. I miss the food. Uh, the, 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 you know, I just, I miss it all for sure. But I think definitely 
Um, you know, I'm forever indebted to that community and I'm always will be a part of that community for sure. Um, and, you know, I've been out there this summer, a little earlier in the summer, and I definitely plan on um, getting back out there before, um, you know, camp and things start for sure. So awesome. um, I love Boise. I'm indebted to that community for sure. And uh, I miss it. I miss it every day for sure. All right, Derek, you mentioned teammates. We looked down the rosters in Las Vegas. There are three teammates of yours, Chandler, Justinian, and Abu that are going to be on different teams. So what does that say about the program, that there's four guys down there? And then what's it going to be like if you have to guard one of those guys? I haven't seen the schedule, so I don't know if any of your teams are playing one another. But uh, is it weird when you play former teammates? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely um, a really cool experience, and it's really cool to see um, you know, different guys, especially that I've played with personally, being able to be at, you know, such an event like this in, in the NBA Summer League. So um, it, it's definitely a really cool opportunity. You know, I had the opportunity to play along with Justinian last year with the Warriors. And then um, during this G League season, being able to actually play against Chandler, which is, which is really, which is a good opportunity. It was, it was a lot of fun for myself. So, um, and now Abu, who's entering, you know, entering into the ranks and kind of getting his foot in the door and starting his pro career. So it's definitely just awesome um, being able to see uh, you know, Chandler, obviously, who kind of start, kind of started it off for us, and then me and Justinian coming in, uh, you know, one year after another, and now Boo. So it's definitely cool. Hopefully I get a chance to go at, go at somebody in summer league, maybe in that fifth game, um, depending on who it is. But it's, it's, uh, it's definitely awesome just as a teammate, as a, as a friend, as a, as a player, just to see, you know, you know, your, your brothers kind of get that opportunity for sure. So it's always great. Yeah, it's great for the community of basketball lovers here in Boise, too, who follow Boise State hoops, and they can go home and watch these summer league games and see Boise State players all over this league. I think that's a special thing for Leon and certainly his program. Would you, Derek Alston Jr., consider a long overseas career, maybe at one of the top leagues, maybe the top Euro League calls your name sometime? I know right now, you're trying to stay in the States. You want to make an NBA roster this fall. Maybe the G League is your number two, and then maybe Europe or somewhere else overseas is number three. What's kind of on your checklist? Would you be cons- would you consider, DA, you know, doing the, the abroad basketball journey for several years if that's maybe the best option that presents itself for you? Yeah, 100%. I think the biggest thing for myself, obviously, right now, um, it is making an NBA roster, and I'm very confident that um, I will do that. Um, but obviously, you know, th- this basketball career and, and, and the professional career is, is one of a lot of uncertainty and a lot of changes year to year. So, you know, one year you could be here, one year you could be there. Um, personally, for myself, you know, um, like I said, I want to be on an NBA roster this next year. But down the line, if, if the overseas option is the best option for myself, then I have no problem with going over there. Um, you know, for myself, having a father who had played in the league and also played, you know, overseas in in the Euro in the Euro League, which you know is considered the second best league in the world. Yep. Um, a lot of different countries, and you know, talking to him recently and and, and over the years, and just hearing his input about it. Um, I mean, myself, I lived over there while he was playing, doing it. So I would de- I would definitely not be opposed to it. I think it's a great opportunity, like I said, not only to make a lot of money playing basketball at a really high level, but being able to see the world um is a is a great opportunity as well too but you know for myself um you know i'm focused like i said on summer league now and kind of just taking it from there and like i said i'm excited for the opportunity um wherever my basketball career will take me and just to have this be my job and how i make money i think has really been the biggest blessing that i've taken from it. and i try not to take it for granted sometimes but um you know not a lot of people get to live live out a dream that they set out for when they were six seven years old um, and kind of see it come to fruition. So I feel like I'm right on the doorstep of that, and I'm excited to come into Summer League and really show a lot of improvement from <laughs> this time. I love it. I'm with you, DA. I got one of those dream jobs, too, talking sports all day on the radio, exactly what I wanted to do. We're rooting for you. We want you to kick some butt down there in the Vegas a Summer League. Your big brother, Chandler Hutchison, is coming on our show tomorrow. So we're catching up with all you guys, big fans over here. Can't wait to see what you're going to do and. Just thanks for your time, man. It's great getting you on our airwaves. We still talk about you, Derek Austin Jr. You're a big piece of this sports thing, and uh, it's nice that you can hang on and hang out with us every now and again. So really, really appreciate it, and go kick some butt down there in Vegas, bud. No, for sure. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, for just all the coverage, you know, during my years there, and then and still kind of keep me keep me in the loop with, <laughs> with the boys. Yeah, I appreciate it for sure. Uh, great stuff. Derek Austin Jr.
with us here. And that's why you listen to Idaho Sports Talk as we bring back some of your favorites and put them on the show. Bob, I would imagine DA, <laughs> certainly one of your well, favorites. I'm, I feel I'm, like I ask you that every day. Well, but yeah. I'm, just, I'm just thinking of the great plays of all four of the guys that, that are going to be down in the summer league. They made me sound good. They gave me a lot to talk they about. did, huh? Yeah. yeah. DA had some monster seasons, the first mount, first team all-Mountain West player, and uh, great to catch up for him. He's with the Dallas Mavericks Summer League team, so keep a close eye there. We got some news coming up. Bob Beeler want to get his thoughts because a Boise State scholarship running back has left the program. What? JP with the details on Idaho Sports Talk. Beeler's in for Prater. Prater in the ball game. This is Idaho Sports Talk with Prater in the Ballgame on Sports Radio 95.3 FM and 1350 AM. 